There's been a lot of debate over the years of whether you should use C or C++. Here we'll discuss the language's differences and which is ultimately best for you. C was created by this guy in 1972 and was a revolution to the programming industry. Suddenly writing software became much, much easier and languages like Python and PHP later emerged which are still used to this day. The syntax of C is very simple when compared to C++, making it very easy to write and understand when compared to its competition at the time. The year is 1980. This is the time where Bajan Straustrope noticed C's popularity I realized it was missing something. C with classes was created, which was renamed to C++ five years later. C++ is a superset of C, which unlike C, supports object-oriented programming. This means that any C code is also valid C++ code. Over time, C++ has grown a huge complexity, and is now very difficult to learn and understand due to the sheer amount of moving parts to consider. To put this into perspective, C has 32 keywords, and C++ has a whopping 95 keywords, just about three times more than C. However, this means C++ gives the programmer a huge amount of power and control control over their programs. C++ is often perceived as poorly designed, meaning that you are much less likely to create bugs in C++, but when you do, they are very difficult to find and solve, especially in larger applications. Despite all this, C++ code can often be easier to write, as there is more functionality to the language such as the string class and vectors. A lot of this is subjective, of course, many C cons as pros and vice versa, but as Linus Torvalds once said, C++ is a horrible language, it is made more horrible by the fact that a lot of substandard programmers use it, to the point where it is much much easier to generate total and utter crap with it. But of course this must be true, as a famous person said it. The way that C development often differs to C++ development is that C developers often favour making their own libraries, instead of stealing libraries made by other programmers. This removes all of the difficulties that come with using libraries and keeps the language as bare bones as possible, fitting the nature of C. C++ is actually supposed to be faster than C, however this is quite controversial as it can very much depend on the task the program is executing. So let's answer the big question, should you use C or C++? This really depends on your preference. Learn C++ if you desire a great deal of control, favour object oriented programming and are willing to spend a considerable amount of time learning about its features and quirks. Learn C if you plan to work on embedded systems or desire to create software with close control over hardware with the luxury of a simple syntax and easier learning process. If you are considering learning a low-level programming language, please bear in mind that their use cases are quickly narrowing down, as modern technologies at a higher level develop, making the development process more efficient. Ensure you have a clear goal of what you want to make in a language like C or C++ before learning, as you may find you simply do not need to know the language. Thank you very much for watching all the way through. If you got to this point, you might as well like and subscribe.